Hey artists, we're gonna make these beautiful snowflakes that are bright, beautiful colors. Follow along with me and I'll show you all the steps to create your own. Okay, we have a coffee filter, some of our washable markers, a styrofoam plate, and a permanent marker. The first thing we wanna do is to make sure we don't lose our stuff is we're going to write our name on the back of the plate with a permanent marker. And I'm gonna set that to the side. Then we're going to take the coffee filter and we are going to just add color all over with our washable markers. Now, you don't wanna spend a ton of time coloring, so you're just going to kinda of add the color. It doesn't have to be solid. You can see I'm leaving a little bit of white space. But I also do wanna get color all over so I'm trying to spread it out and I'm just adding lots of different colors with my washable markers some green and I almost have all of the coffee filter covered with fun colors. Okay, once your coffee filter has some marker all over then you're ready to flip your plate over. You're going to set the coffee filter onto the plate and you're going to get your little water sprayer. And any spray bottle will do. We have these smaller ones and we're just going to add water and watch the magic happen as those washable markers start to move and spread all over our coffee filter. That is already looking so cool as the colors start to move and blend. So we're gonna set these to the side and let them dry completely. Once the filter is dried completely, all the colors kind of melted together and it looks so pretty. We want this to stay on our plate so what I'm going to do is take the glue and I'm just going to do a thin line of glue around the edge of my plate. And I'm going to do a little squiggle through the middle here. And I'm going to take my coffee filter and set it right down in the middle and press it down to make sure it is glued to the plate and secure. All right, it's on there now. The next step is we're gonna take some strips of paper and create what looks like a snowflake to finish these beautiful, colorful snowflakes. Okay, I've got all these different colors of paper strips and you're gonna to get to choose what color of paper strips you would like to use. I'm thinking with mine, I might go for the blue. So I'm just gonna take a few strips of the blue and set them aside for the project. So the first thing I want to do is kind of create an X shape. And so what I need to do is see about, we're going to have to do some measuring. I need it to be about that long. So I put my finger there and I make a little cut. And then I'm going to hold it up to the same piece and I'm going to cut again. And now I have some blue paper to make an X shape. So I'm going to take my glue stick and glue my piece of paper across the middle. And then I'm going to also glue a piece of paper making an X shape. I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm going to make a T shape because I'm trying to create the look of a snowflake. 
So I'm going to measure how big I need it. About that big. And then I'll cut a second one. And I'll make a T-shape going up and down, pushing it on. And going across. Okay, it's really starting to come around. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to make some smaller pieces. And I'm going to use these to create that kind of snowflake effect. So on one side, I'm going to add some little pieces. It kind of show that little spot on the snowflake where the ice kind of branches out. And I'm going to do that again, cutting some more small pieces of paper. I'm going to put that on all four of these. So I'm going to add that little shape. Just adding that to all four lines on the X shape. Cut two more little pieces and I'll add it to this one. I love how that's starting to look. It's really getting that snowflake look to me. If your paper is a little bit thick and you want thinner pieces, you can use your scissors and you can cut the paper into even skinnier little pieces. And we can add those to our snowflake as well. Let's see, I'm gonna cut some little strips of paper here. Now I added this kind of V shape to each line. And now I'm going to add a little line on this one where my T shape is. And I'm just going to add a little extra piece. And I think that's really giving it that snowflake look. All the little details of a snowflake. I think that is looking amazing. If you want to keep adding some little lines, you can. I'm starting to think that my snowflake looks pretty finished. And so with the paper strips, we're going to put the X shape, the T shape, and then we can cut some smaller pieces to add some extra little details to give it that snowflake look. And then once you are satisfied, we can put a little, we can take our pencil carefully and we're just gonna push our pencil through just like that to make a little tiny hole. And then I can hang some string and we can hang these up on the wall. I can't wait to see the snowflakes that you create.